We need to talk about rage. We need to talk about the fact that when you're playing Fallout, just sometimes, sometimes, the rage builds up within you to the point that maybe you quit the game. A rage quit. Maybe you throw something. A rage throw. Maybe you swear really loudly. A rage swear. Maybe you curse the unborn grandchildren you've never had. The rage curse. And it happens when you die. That moment when you're strolling along, everything looks fine. That looks fine. This looks fine. All of this looks fine. And all of a sudden, a little red thing appears in your screen. Looks a little kind of, a little bit like a pineapple with a fizzing end. You don't really have time to react. You maybe have time to go, oh look, I think there's a... Death. Rage. Pain. Suffering. And then, beyond the initial rage of the death and the grenade that threw in from a person that you never even knew that was there, there comes the realization that you haven't actually saved anytime soon. Your brain starts racing a million miles a second. Did I save then? No, I thought about saving, but I didn't actually press the save button. I should have saved, but I didn't save. And there was definitely a very good reason why I didn't save, but I'm sure I saved before that. Wait a minute, no I didn't. What about the bit where I took out the three super mutants? No, 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 that wasn't, it was before that. Then there was the bit where I almost survived. <gasps> there was the legendary object I just picked up. Did I save after that? Oh my God! And then the game loads, you close your eyes, you pray. Maybe somehow the game just accidentally saved just before you came to the, your, this nearby death. And then it loads up and you realize you've never saved at all. The entire time you've been playing, you've never managed to save. Tears fall from your face. Rage builds up within you. And you go and play a far more easy and game that doesn't matter about saving like Candy Crush. And then you feel like less of a good human being because of this horrible, horrible incident. But wait, wait. I never had this problem on Skyrim. I never had this problem on Fallout 3. I never had this problem on other things like this. So what's the difference? I had an auto save manager. I remember it was called CASM. Something like auto save manager. And it took care of all of this for me. It was like every five or 10 minutes, it did a save. Every time I left combat, it did a save. Every time I went through a door, it kind of did a save. It was good. <laughs> but it isn't in Fallout 4 and it definitely isn't in survival mode. So for the sake of the sanity of your brain, the 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 the, the, the continued construction of your cutlery for the curses of your grandchildren, we need to mod it. And here it is. Auto Save Manager by Johan. Thank you. Let me just pause just for a minute there. Thank you from my viewers on Twitch who regularly see me swear when I don't like swearing. I have a family friendly channel where we don't swear unless it's really bloody funny. And you know, the number of times they've had to put up with me saying a very bad word because I've suddenly died and haven't saved. And for the sake of all of the other people across the world in similar situations, Johan, thank you for making this auto save manager. It came out just a couple of days ago um, on the 24th of May, and it saves in several different circumstances. When the player ends combat after 15 minutes and nothing else has happened, when do you enter or leave a location or whether you wait? And of course you can always set a save at another manual time. There are other, there are other mods that let you just enable saves, but the point is that this one saves without you having to remember to do it. You install in the usual way, you know, you come across to kind of files and you uh, wait for it to load and then you press um, download with manager and it appears um, in your Nexus mod manager. Then you come back into the game and there is one on your pit boy, but for some reason he wants you to use a terminal. I don't understand this bit why you have to use a terminal, but nevertheless you have to use a terminal. So you come over to a terminal um, and you sit down on the non-existent chair and then you load the holotape and then you scroll down to the holotape mod setting. Here we go, save manager menu, and uh, it, it, it all loads up. And this is where you can choose anything um, that um, you want. So for example, we can choose how long between just automatic saves. So every, at the moment, by default, every 15 minutes, it will save, uh, which is great. Now, I'm, you might want to reduce it a little bit. I, I tend to kind of push it down 
in, uh, to about kind of 10-ish because it can be kind of frustrating uh, to go that, but it's entirely up to you. Or you can turn it off um, completely. Um, and then you've got the same on the kind of um, every time you end combat, when you change location, when you wait. And you've also got this auto save pause item. Now what this is, is say for example, you um, you shoot someone, it makes a save. You walk through a door straight away, it makes another save. Um, and then the 15 minute timer comes up, so it makes three saves all, all in a row. Now that's a ridiculous amount of saves. Um, so what this one does is it, it, it puts an automatic delay in. So um, it will only save uh, when a new condition is met within a certain time period and what this has done is it's basically saying it won't make any it won't make more than one save within a 10 minute period um by um by, by kind of default the current is 10 is five and then you can kind of change it um up or down and that excludes sleeping and waiting because that um, are, is, is its kind of own set of save which i think is a really really um uh, nice idea um, to have that kind of control of when exactly it saves or not. Now, of course, these are technically auto saves. The other thing you would probably want to do is is, is blow your nose. Uh, the other thing you probably want to do is come across to your My Games folder and then go into Fallout 4 and then go into your um, Fallout 4 custom any um, file. And down here, you probably want to add this line, and I'll put it in the description myself. Um, save game, and then you've got I auto save count. And this is where you decide how many auto saves you want. And for save guards can be really big. Now, I've set mine to 100, which is ridiculously high, but that's purely because I make so many videos and I like to have lots of locations and I like to be able to go back and be like, oh, I could film that video in that location. So 100 is really high. Most people want, would have this set to say 10, 20. But basically what this does is it means that the game, because the game is making auto saves all the time, um, it could in theory overwrite um, a, a precious save of your, a precious auto save of yours from maybe um, two hours ago if you really kind of wanted that. Obviously auto save is different from a manual save, um, but on survival mode you can't make a manual save unless you um, use a little bit of tricky wizardry. Um, but um, that's but um, you you should edit change that line um, to whatever number um, you want. And then that's it. Now it will just um, start saving automatically as you're kind of running around. And just to kind of demonstrate it, and if I kind of sit on a chair and wait, usually this wouldn't make um, a save um, because we're in survival mode and it only saves when you sleep. But now it does, um, for argument's sake. Now what you might also might want to do when you're using this particular um, mod is go into your settings menu and change when the game actually kind of auto saves by default. Now I haven't got it here because of the whole, because I'm playing in um, survival mode, but you might want to make sure that you don't have the game trying to save and the uh, the mod trying to save at the same time. So basically you want to kind of customize your settings kind of around this mod um, 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 as well. So that's, um, that is it. That is auto save uh, manager um, by uh, Johan, if you like it, then don't forget to uh, hit the endorse button. Um, if I had a suggestion for the mod maker, it would be that we should be able to edit these settings in the pit boy. I don't really see why I have to have a terminal to do it, um, because if I want to edit on the fly out in combat, um, then I can't, um, and that would be nice. But other than that, I really like this mod. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it, and please keep it updated um, with any future ch changes that come into the game, because this is now a vital and essential part of my gameplay. And that is it. So, let me bless you before we finish our time together. May the rage quits all be distant from your memory and your mind, and may your autosave trigger always after you have found that legendary weapon of your dreams. And also, you have been fantastic, my friends. Subscribe to the video, don't check out my survival roleplay now featuring autosave manager, and uh, do subscribe to the channel as well. Goodbye.